I was reading this site called Event Hubs, Event Hubs, and I'm not sure the pronunciation, but I heard that there's a new Street Fighter 6 beta on the way out of nowhere. Uh, so the community is going to have a chance to play Street Fighter 6 yet again. And that's exciting to me. Yes. And, and before we get into it, I am very excited about this. But John, we got to say happy birthday. You just turned 22 years old. Congratulations 22. on that. 22. So. <laughs> People say I look really old for my age, but they're just jerks. Yes. Um, I, I have also turned 23 or something around there. So that's uh, that's what I'm going to go with. So, um, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, so there, there, we've got a, a top five list here of stuff to look out for in the closed beta. Uh, first thing here is it's going to run from December 16th through the 19th. Uh, Pacific midnight time new spots though, are going to be open during this beta I know there's been mis mixed messaging out there about this But it's confirmed that new spots will be opened up and your application must be submitted before December 11th So get it in there right now go check the description below in this video You will find a, a link to the sign up page in there uh, go get in there But if you were in the first beta you're in this one you're good to go uh, yeah, You don't have is, to reapply nothing It seems like Capcom yeah. has your information and you can just uh, as far as we can tell here pick it right back up when this beta goes live Yes. And, and the other thing about this too is that they, they might extend the beta a little bit. Uh, they've, they've done some stuff with them moving around the schedule in the past and they, they have it in their notes that they might do some stuff in there. So, you know, look forward to that. Uh, but number two, there's a new option and shout outs to Arturo Sanchez here. He's a uh, champion this one quite a bit. Uh, there's a new option to reduce input delay on monitors that have 120 hertz refresh rates are higher. Now this can introduce some screen tearing, which is not fun to have. Uh, it depends on your configuration, but it also reduces input delay by quite a bit. Uh, we'll need to do some testing uh, to see how much of a change this actually offers. Uh, and there can definitely be issues with doing this, like, you know, as I mentioned, a screen tearing, but also potentially stuttering. Um, but since this option is being offered by the developers and not by editing INI files or whatever, um, it shouldn't be super buggy despite this being a beta. When the developers enable this option, it's more than likely they've accounted for a number of these issues that you know can, can surface basically by altering you know uh, configuration files and this should work fairly well. Uh, the game still does badly need NVIDIA Reflex, um, which doesn't have uh, these problems associated with it and directly optimizes the rendering pipeline to reduce input delay. Don't worry, we're not going to go through a super technical oh, good. explanation of what you were losing yes, me. <laughs> but um, uh, th this option is available in God of War 2018 on PC and it drops the input delay down by a frame or so. It's wonderful. And NVIDIA has close to 90% of the GPU market on PC. So I'm really hoping Capcom invests the, the time needed to properly implement this and such. Uh, but both of these settings together, if you use both together, I'm guesstimating that you can get the, the input delay down to two or three frames, which is comparable and, and potentially even better than old school CRT fighting games. Hmm. Yeah, so like better input delay. This is what I've been talking about, people. It's like when the FGC really gets on top of rollback, on input delay and all, all this kind of stuff, we can have better stuff than we've ever had before. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. Uh, but if we have all that, then we won't have something to whine about, John. And I think that you're missing the big point here. That's our favorite thing. And if you take away all of my reasons to complain, what am I going to write about on the front page of Event Hubs? Yeah, that was awesome. We were talking about this earlier this week and I, I was talking about input delay and online stuff and I'm like, man, I'm like, when I lose, I can't play that option select of like the net code sucks anymore. You know, kind of thing because that is, that's a really great option select and it's a big incentive for me, you know, that if I lose, I still win because I'm like, well, it was just, it was just a net code. So, yeah, you say you, you wanted know, option selects out of Street Fighter 4, but I feel like you, <laughs> not, not, not quite, not all of you. <laughs> Definitely. So uh, moving on to number three here, uh, the content that was in the first beta will be in the second, although there will be a few extra things available that weren't in the announcement. And there are very few changes to the game's balance and such, but the, the big exception here is that level one supers for all characters no longer have projectile invincibility. Oh, it sounds like and they're trying to nudge the meta in a certain direction or something like that. What do you make of that? Yeah, that that what I think is going on is that this is probably related to people being chipped out when they were in burnout and using a level one super to blow through a projectile and such when they were basically in a game over situation. And I think that Capcom felt that that was a bit too good and, and not what they designed burnout to be where it's like, oh, if you get stuck in the corner or you get some uh, in some other situation, we don't want you using a level one super to get through that that game over, basically. And you're going to sit there and you're going to eat it if you got into burnout, which is very, that's how I read this. It could manifest itself in other ways that I, I'm not aware of, but it's very clear that there was something, some tech that their development team found 
that was circumventing something the developers wanted to make a thing in this game. Mm. Like they want it to be like, you know, burnout or, or whatever it is. Uh, there is something that that's, it's basically going against their, their, their creed that they have in this game. I hadn't thought about it uh, in those terms. And that makes a lot of sense now that you say it, uh, especially from the point of view that when you go into burnout, your supers become like the, the kind of the final, the last bastion, right? Like, because all of your options to deal with burn or to be, to deal with like incoming stuff like drive impact and, and such are there when you're not burned out, when you are, all of those go away. And so like, all you have is to like get through something with the invincibility of a super or, or, I mean, there's neutral jump. Sure. But like that tends to be your, your only last final line of defense. And it's not great, you know, using a super to try to navigate through as somebody else's entire repertoire of tools. But, uh, but maybe that is, and, and like already it felt like, man, when you're burned out, it really sucks, but maybe they want it to be mm -hmm. even worse. So, all right. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, uh, uh, when the developers set out to do something in a game and you have a, a tactic or, or something else that completely circumvents that, at least in some situations, that's typically where when you're going to see the developers kind of step in and alter it. Uh, not always, but um, uh, but in this day and age, especially with fighting games, uh, how often they're updated, they're like, mm, yeah, let's let's get out in front of this sure. one. Uh, but number four here is uh, Capcom has actually improved the netcode even further. We love the netcode. We think this is uh, the one of the best netcodes we've ever used. Um, it might be the best right now uh, from what we're seeing. Um, but this is evidenced by them adjusting how input delay is changed during the course of a match. Um, uh, so this is basically, they're basically optimizing the code. They found that the, the game was maybe over um, uh, altering kind of like uh, the, the frame delay that you would have depending on, you know, your connection quality. And basically what they've done is just optimize that a little bit further to make it run smoother and better. Uh, that's a really simple uh, solution there. I, I'm um, hesitant to like mm -hmm. to put too much judgment on what we've seen from the netcode thus far. Like, like obviously anything that's bad is extra bad because it's just a controlled environment with a limited number of people. The people it seems are going to be like it's a, it's a higher quantity this time around. So that's good. That means that we're we're testing even further, but it's also still not going to be what it is when the game actually launches and it's out there in the wild. So I take that with a grain of salt, but it's more like if nothing bad happens, that's good, but it's, it, 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 eh. if something bad happens, it's really bad. So, so, so far everything's great, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm just kind of not getting ahead of myself to say like, this is the most amazing net code and it will stay that way. It's great so far. And I would agree with you that it's mm -hmm. the most, the best I've experienced in a single game thus far, but we'll see when the game actually launches. Yeah, it's uh, that that classic thing of uh, what what did we just discover just the other day? It's like parry and then drive rush takes a bar and it covers a million options and other stuff. And it's like, oh, they're bursting my bubble there already. Capcom with uh, yeah. with this stuff and it's uh, it's all coming. You know, we're we're gonna find the warts, right? It's inevitable in these games. Sure. It's what what happens. But uh, speaking of how to find some of those warts yourself, uh, how to train in con conclusion is number five. Uh, go into your battle hub. Uh, go find the extreme battle cabs. That's where the bulls and the lightning and all that other kind of crap just come and you know hit you while you're trying to play um and most people are not playing that mode in the closed beta find one of those cabs kind of hidden away at the back of the you know the the battle hub and you can actually just go in there and um uh, the training mode in there will not be the extreme battle or anything like that it will just be normal training mode most people will not come up and bother you when you're in there so it's a really good chance especially if you're playing someone like chun Li, like i'm going to be playing this time around uh it's nice to be able to just kind of sit in training mode for you know an hour or wherever and not have you know you might get a few people that you know don't know what they're doing and come in there and bother you but for the most part it's a really good way to get some time on the training mode um without having to worry about it yes uh go you'll, you'll have the option if this is like the first beta you'll have the option to pick what room you want go down to one of the lower rooms because i think it starts at, say it starts at one and it goes all the way down to what 99 i'd go pick like number you know 57 maybe not all the way down to the bottom because everybody's going to pick that last one but try to find a room like that that that's further down that not as many people are naturally going to go to and then yeah like john's saying go there's there's some cabinets some arcade cabinets on like the upper level that sometimes people will go to it's a little more secluded and and out of the way but i i do think that playing on the extra battle cabinets themselves because that's like a whole other sort of style of play and for those that are, are just you know interested in the standard this is the street fighter 6 experience without all the little gimmicks and smash bros items on um your your best chance for being uninterrupted for your training and learning all your crazy chun li combos and stances and that stuff is is there so 
few helpful tips from people that have been through it once or twice once uh and and yeah so hopefully because a lot of people don't want to get in there and 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 try all this stuff they're like i i have all this potential i need to like bring it into something usable something ordered you know and and i don't want to just have people like just jumping at me and throwing random special moves out there while i'm trying to learn my character so if that's you and you want to do some secluded training these are kind of the best ways to go about it yeah. In closing up here, uh, closing thoughts. Um, I don't think the game is super far away. Like we discussed in our last video, I think we're looking at a May 2023 release date or a bit less than six months from now, a uh, little little way from half a year. Uh, Capcom may want more data for balancing purposes. And then some of the aforementioned uh, core code changes and balance changes, they may want it to do a big group test of that. That's why we're getting the second beta here. Um, I, I'm sure there there's an absolute ton of minor bug fixes as well that they have it documented in the patch notes because most game companies don't do that because um, the, the, the patch notes would be about 50 pages long um, so we're going to have a ton an absolute ton of content coming to the youtube channel and the website in the future so uh, please stay tuned here to event hubs for a lot you know more. you could like comment and then subscribe and then you would stay updated with all those things as they come out in real time so hey make your life easier